What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our July 29th fishing report for the Great Bay. As always, brought to you by the Great Bay Marina. Uh, guys, if you're looking for, for a place to launch a boat, uh, they have a boat ramp open from 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day, and it is a $15 fee. Uh, and they also have any uh, bait and tackle that you may need. They are fully stocked. Uh, and guys, uh, as always, if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, it helps our channel out a great deal. and doesn't cost you a thing. All right. David Worth was out by the fish factory this last week, and they, uh, he landed a total of 25 fluke. Two of those were keeper. He also pulled in a couple nice kingfish. Uh, John was out last Saturday with his son. They were out in the ocean. They hit the mother load. Uh, they lost count of throwbacks and had a really nice two-man limit. So That's a great day. That is an awesome day. Uh, uh -huh. Looks like they had a, a great day on the water. Riptide Bait and Tackle share this picture of John with this monster five-pound fluke. Um, he was fishing the Absecon Inlet. And Rob English was up north uh, fishing the Manasquan Inlet. He was in the Point Pleasant Elk Kayak Fluke Tournament, and he took first place in both the longest fluke and fluke slam. So wow. super excited for him. Awesome job, Tom. And then Nick Talarico and his buddy Clifford were uh, they were fishing the Great Bay Wednesday and landed a total of 11 fluke. Two were keepers. Uh, they were fishing the inlet. They were out by the fish factory. They were near 126 and over by Captain Mike's. Everything they caught was on a gulp. <laughs> All right, yeah, they're kind of a little bit everywhere. So, uh, sounds a little bit like us. We were actually able to get out last week as well. Uh, we went and headed out to the uh, buoy marker 132 to start out there. We were fishing the outgoing tide. Uh, picked up a bunch of shorts there at one keeper. Uh, then we actually headed over to the... Um, the double turn buoy there at 130. Uh, we were fishing from basically where you can see the sandbar come out to a point and we we're drifting out towards the channel uh, and did really well there. We were able to pick up a bunch more shorts and two keepers uh, at that spot there. Um, guys, if you're fishing the Great Bay, I would highly recommend to use minnows uh, simply because right now the black sea bass and the blowfish are everywhere. I mean, we it was tough to keep them off the hook and they what was happening was any kind of gulp or grub that we had they just kept nipping the tail right off and if they don't have that action on that grub uh it loses a lot of its uh a lot of its um uh attraction for those for those fish so uh the minnows really what got done for us but the white and the pink if you can keep those grubs on the white and pink were both doing really well so uh just keep that in mind uh john spiro and his wife were able to get back out there on the great bay uh, this past week as well, uh, John was able to take his wife out for her birthday on Friday. Uh, they both limited it out uh, with flounder ranging from 18 to 23 inches. Uh, John was able to limit out on Saturday as well. Uh, we have a pair of young anglers who were able to get out uh, and fish near the fish factory on Monday. Dylan and Bubba uh, landed these two nice keepers. Uh, as always, it's always good to see uh, young guys getting out there on the water. Uh, that's exciting. Uh, Ted Hines, Rich Barth, and Ryan Bowles uh, landed six flounder six trigger fish and two sea bass this past week so uh congratulations on all awesome outing there team machine getting it done as always uh and changing things up from flounder a little bit uh we have kevin and triana who were able to uh, land these two nice tuna uh last friday and saturday on their 35 foot pro line so uh looks like they had just an awesome trip out in the ocean there yeah, it looks like a great time yeah all right guys tides this week are setting up uh high tides great for a, a afternoon fish so you'll be baking in the sun take but we, sunscreen yeah take take sunscreen. Sunscreen. <laughs> friday we got high tide at uh 149 a.m and 223 p.m saturday is 236 a.m and 308 p.m and sunday is 324 a.m and 353 p.m all right weather for this weekend is looking nice we got highs in the upper 70s to mid 80s uh chance of rain on sunday but uh friday and saturday are looking really nice Guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate the support. And if you're able to get out on the water, let us know how you do and send us those pictures. Tight lines, everybody.